Get ready to go on. Show Barney and Pup. Here come. I don't think so. Oh, baby? I don't think we have no smoked turkey. You got bake, two slices of bacon in the bottom. Why you put all those potatoes when you have those potatoes? Which table are you going to use? I'm going to use those. I'm making a mash. I'm going to use those. Oh. That's like a waste. Those are like good roasting potatoes, but not really great mashed potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. S E R I O U S. Okay. I think I'm ready. Okay. Let me know when the people are here. People are here. What's up, people? Hey fam, how's it going? Welcome to Cooking with Greens. Uh, we're going to be making a little, um, we had some scallops that we bought the other day. We're going to cook them today. We're going to go ahead and do a little mashed potato with it, but I wanted to do like a whole seafood kind of themed mashed potato. So uh, I wanted lobster, but Vita likes crab better than lobster. So we're going to take some of the crab that we already have. I'm going to throw it in the broiler real quick just so it can, it can cook for a second. And then I'm going to try to get some of that meat out to use for the mashed potatoes, all right? And it should be simple. I'm going to probably try to do like a pan reduction, maybe with the the juice from the, the fond from the um, scallops and then some bacon and some broth and maybe a little bit of cream and butter. We're going to see. But anyhow, that's my, that's my thought. And let's uh, make this thing happen. Good to see everyone. Let's go ahead and get our Cooking with Green theme song going. Shout out to Tony. We'll talk to him today. <laughs> everyone doing today uh, did a little painting today uh, we've been taking care of a lot of everything today but thank you for being here uh, let's go ahead and do our cleansing breath uh, we're gonna count to three we're gonna inhale some cleansing breath we're gonna hold it for a second and then we're gonna let it allow it to attach to our negative energy and we're gonna just expel it all out all right so let's do that together on the count of three one two three let's go Okay. And then let's let it go. And shake it off. All right. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, getting these things together. Uh, these bad boys are not room temperature, but they are. I took them out about an hour ago, so they, they're going to be wherever they are by now. I'm going to get some stuff together. I want to start getting my taters together. Maybe can talk to you, but we're going to talk about the, the thought about. Thought of the day in a second. You got anybody we need to say hi to, baby? Everybody's saying hi. Hey, everybody. How are y'all doing? Mm, good. It's just the two of us. We can make it if we try, baby. <laughs> just the two of us. You and I. That's no, not why I said that. You did. You wanted me to sing. I no. Like I felt no. it in my spirit. My that spirit, spirit was wrong. mistaken. Never wrong. Um, okay, let's uh, see what the thought for the day is. If you guys would, let's go ahead and take a walk over to 
Pasta G E Frigid Dare. What's up, Amber? Good to see you. Boom. And the thought for today is nothing will haunt you like the business you didn't start, the time you didn't take, the things you did not say, or the places you didn't go. And nothing gonna haunt you like that business that you were supposed to have been starting. You know you didn't have it in your head and you just don't think you're enough or smart enough or don't have enough money or enough resources. You just won't just start. You'll just dream about it. The businesses you didn't start, the time you didn't take, the things you did not say to the people you needed to say it to or the places you didn't go. All right. And if you feel that in your spirit, say amen. And if you feel that in your spirit, maybe you need to take heed to some of this. All right. Well, how you, thank you, thank you. They said, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, that's a good one right there. There we go, there we go, there we go. So good to be here, good to be here, good to be here with you guys as always. Well, get... sorry, what? What happened, baby? You took one away already? No, I almost knocked them over. Not my, not my little family from YouTube. Not my little YouTube fans. <laughs> Victory said, preach. I feel attacked with that one. I'm just saying. Don't, don't be look. Don't just feel like we're attacked. Don't, look, don't don't let it haunt you now. You can still do something about it. You ain't gotta let it haunt you for the rest of your life. There's a whole lot of people gonna They're die with the shit. Amen. 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 Okay. 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 What event do y'all have coming up? I'll be in Norfolk in about nine days. Uh, in about twelve days. I don't know how long you're gonna be here. We have uh, an event, a um, a art show that we're doing on the 30th. So I don't know if you're going to still be around on the 30th. But if so, come out and check us out. Come get your free hugs. We're giving free hugs out to everyone that uh, attends. We're going to have our art there. Um, probably going to gonna snag some of our cooking with greens um, spice blends and try to bring some of those too. No, Lakeisha, I do not have a new outfit on every day. She this do. This is part of my winter clothes. She do, Keisha. Let me get this out. Keisha, tell us she ain't got a, she ain't got a lot of kids. Uh oh. You alright? Mm -hmm. Did you get to just? Yes, we had the garbage disposal fixed, but with him fixing the garbage disposal, he broke the dishwasher. And it's still broken. I guess they're saying that because it's you peeling potatoes. It's okay, y'all. Potatoes, y'all. So y'all just don't use y'all garbage disposal for nothing. It's just for a little... You know, we're not a, having this discussion. A little discussion. dust from the plates, right? That's all We're not is. having this discussion with Derek. Okay, Google. No, no, no. no. I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> you know my Google, Google, my friend. If I look, like, when I have a problem, look, like, when you ain't got no friends in the house, you gotta talk to of Google. Course. I'll tell you. Friends don't let friends search alone. <laughs> what? What does that have to do? With Google said, "Of course," and friends don't let friends search alone. I, I appreciate you, Google. I appreciate you, Google. For he said, that. "Look, D rack, don't start." <laughs> I appreciate you being there for me, Google. So you made it to Monday, guys. You made it to the end of your work day. Yep, another day. What's man. the dishwasher not doing? It's not washing. Yeah, it won't even come on. No, it'll come on, but like there's water no water stuff. going to it. He did something. It. He probably disconnected. He done done something. It ain't my job to figure and it out. And they supposedly came and looked at it when we weren't here. Yeah, and they said, so we got, they have to wait till the GE person comes through and figure out what's going on. Even though so I told the lady on the phone. They had to put in a service call. So we got to wait for them to make their way around to us. So it is what it is, y'all. Ooh, child. The plug needs to be popped out. I wish I would pop a plug. We'll you better come fix this darn thing. I guess I'm going to just wash it. I ain't fixing Jack. Because you should put the pills in the grocery bag. I know firsthand. That them potatoes will clog it up. Oh, Lord. Here go another one, Lord. <laughs> Here go another one. Baby, 
Peels are clogging up. Food are clogging up. Literally, the 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 the, food, the garbage disposal is not to put anything in there. Just. It's just I told y'all thing. don't start him up. It's just an extra thing to you. Don't start him up with this thing, this this garbage disposal, and don't start him up with sports. Don't start me up, and don't tell me look, and don't tell me to put this in the um in the air fryer either. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about the air fryer. It'd be the same people, the same ones I'm talking about. They're the same air fryer people. I'm telling you right now. It's kind of fun. To I never put scraps in the garbage disposal. You don't, Yolanda? Hmm. Yolanda, why not? Because it's not it's not good for scraps, right? The garbage disposal is not for trash or garbage from the sink. Sherry sure said, Lord, don't tell me to get an iPhone. Oh, I'm definitely not going to do that. <laughs> I, look, I'll stop putting stuff in the garbage disposal first. It's a jerk. Are you still getting your bird? Oh, my raven or my... Maybe. Need to let me. They were saying that's what it's for. Put your stuff in the garbage full of dirt. That's what it's for. I know, but we have a few people here here that believe nothing's supposed to go in there. Nothing. It's just for the little grains of, of salt and dust for your plates, and that's all. I think they call that part the sink. <laughs> No, don't start. Hey, Byron. What's so up? No burnt. You late? You're not late. We just beginning. We only just begun. Too late. Hey, everybody. We're going to have a nice little scalloped infused meal today. I said, Michael said, Mr. D, don't worry. I bought an air fryer in December and haven't used it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just taking up space. Yeah, it's good just to know you have it, right, though? You, know, you, you can say, I got an air fryer. Right. I, you know what? That's I pretty much all fryer. we're doing. Telling people we got one. We got one. Y'all got an air fryer? Yep. Yeah. And that's it. That's the end of the conversation. We had, we had an extra spot on the, on the cabinet. We had an extra spot, so we got an air fryer, yeah. We only you never ate, eat. what, scallops? They're good. And they're easy to cook. Yep. Put the scraps in the air fryer and then take a picture on your iPhone. Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> oh, it'd be the Michelle's. Michael right? said, yep, bragging rights. We got an air fryer. We got an air fryer. That ain't nothing. I got an air fryer. You know you can cook on. That's like when, when the microwaves first came out. Everybody had to go get one. Y'all got a microwave. You know you can do a whole turkey in the microwave. You can make eggs in it. That is our cooking with greens cutting board. And Alisa said, Alisa said. You talking about Alicia McCoy? <laughs> Alisa McKay said it's five ninety nine each for lobster. A good price. Yes, it yes, is. That's that's good. That's a very Is it a lobster price. or a lobster tail? What are, you, what are you saying? I mean, it's good for lobster tail. It's real good for a whole lobster. Lauren says she got her spices, but she didn't get her bracelet. What, well, Lauren? Did you ask for one? Yeah, you got an automatic stuff. thing. Um, we don't automatically just put them in there. I'm sorry, Lori. He said, "Excuse me, uh, you forgot something that I was thinking you was going to do that I didn't <laughs> ask you for." What? <laughs> She might have though. I'm trying, I'm being, being, being fresh. She might have asked me. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't remember if it did. But you know, just hit us up. What's what's gonna do one? Um, if I got, I don't know. We're getting low. I gotta reorder those too. Yeah. Victoria, so she loves her air fryer. We love ours too. Yeah, we love. It looks too. really good sitting up on that shelf. Yeah, stop it. Y'all know how your mom was if you grew up in the seventies and and and, and um. And uh, microwaves was hot and just came out. Y'all, y'all was popping if you had. They was cooking everything. Everything they possibly think of in the microwave. He's like, you know, you could put a whole, a whole uh, turkey in there. Uh, 
turkey in there and this and that and the other. Oh, I don't know. This time we're making scallops or base scallops. We making no, not sea base scallops, scallops. Sea or scallops. Base scallops. Sea scallops. Sea scallops. Sea scallops, my friends, my little friends. Oh, Laura, so you said gonna put some in her package for the third time. Ooh. Laura, you girl, Laura, if you didn't write, I'm telling you, if you didn't write it in the thing, I in probably didn't do it. If I'm doing like multiple orders. I don't be. It ain't nothing against you, Lori. I just want you to let you know. The air fryer's not on our countertop anymore. It's it's in the closet. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Robin. Oh Lord. But I wanted to. Robin, what do scallops taste like? Scallop tastes like shrimp and lobster had a baby together. Now you're gonna say what shrimp and lobster tastes like. That shrimp and lobster had a baby. We've only just begun to know. Michelle said so her air fryer and her are best of friends. Okay. I know you. I, my mama, my mama used to like microwaves when they first came out too. Everybody had microwaves that was best of friends. Y'all got a microwave yet? You can make eggs in it. You can cook eggs inside it. The hottest thing ever. Our day is just going fine. We, we got a lot of things accomplished today. We got a lot. We only just beat. I have an air fryer and it's still in the box. All right, Pat, you my friend. Uh-uh. <laughs> so if I don't friend. like shrimp or lobster, I'm not going to like scallops, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, probably not. I mean, it's a shellfish, fish, so if you don't... I mean, what, what is this? The top for what? The Sitting right here? That you took out when you took out the pot? They thought I'm tricking. No. <laughs> I bought my air fry a couple of weeks ago and I just used it for the first time Saturday. So proud of you. So what you am doing? Okay, y'all. So some stuff happening. Sorry, you too. Let me turn y'all over here. Scouts are very good. Mm-hmm. Y'all like them? Yes, we do have moderators. Why? Somebody acting up already? No, somebody asked, do you have moderators? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they watching. <laughs> She's like, I want to know if Don't I can Don't come act in here acting up. Y'all got moderators? Because we got spies all around. <laughs> I took, let me say I took, wait, what? <laughs> Hello, I took mine, put the box about two weeks ago. Well, you put it up I, about I two weeks ago? I don't know, Michael. Like, what you trying to say, baby? Yeah, I got to push all the letters if y'all want me to understand what y'all <laughs> saying. You need to be in fresh. This is a good thing. You're sitting there. I would lose. He would lose his mind. No, he Ooh. would. Because he's going to find the top that you took out. Oh wow, y'all just y'all that's the kind of people y'all are, huh? Hey Charles. I finally moved my air fryer off my counter also and then I we moved it. Yeah, all the letters. I need to understand what y'all trying to say. I don't want to misinterpret a thing. I thought we wasn't really using it like we supposed to have. Is there any kind of seafood that tastes like chicken? Because I like chicken. Chicken? I need to get you all your glasses. Yes, we did. Yeah, Nina got Three pair, right? For about a hundred and forty, maybe. Mm, about that With much. everything included, and that that included progressive lenses, that included the frames, that included delivery, that included, scratch resistant, yeah, oh, one or two all kinds of, of stuff. Like, I, like I'm telling you right now, buying glasses. If you're not, if you buying glasses and you're still getting them from the optometrist, hey, you got you got money. You look, you 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 rich. You rich. He only just begun. So he's going to make crab mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Although I told him it was not necessary. Wait, do I ever do anything that's necessary? No, you don't. Thank you very much. Like, and these are the crabs we bought this summer. That's like Nita's first, from first food day. Line when they was on sale. And we still got some more. We literally do. Um, Lutie said, anyone want my address to send me the air fryer they haven't opened? <laughs> y'all, tomorrow is Lutie's birthday, too, so y'all can go ahead and send it. 
Yes. She said, see, y'all play too much. Y'all up here playing around with my emotions. You might say frog legs taste like chicken. Frog legs, uh, is that seafood? Nah. Well, it's a frog. I don't know reptiles would be called seafood. Like turtles, not seafood. I need the website. I bought one pair for two hundred dollars. Sam, oh, it's a bunch. Uh, we put it up. So I'm many, to put it in yeah, it's a lot. You can look it up on our on our site. I'll put it up. I didn't put it up the last time, last night or whatever it was that we said we was gonna put it up. Okay, uh, I'll try to. So Jeremy put up a link to it. We need to get like a, a free deal or something from these people. We oh. sending everybody they were. Believe it or not, they need some sponsors. They hit me up to. Make, do my own glasses. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, but it's going it's going it, it means me buying them and all that stuff and designing them and all that. But, you know. Well, there's a few people up here that said if you don't want to use your air fryer, send it to them. I ain't got a, I ain't got a whole lot of them. Ba, 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 ba. Mm -mm. So you doing all that crap? I don't know. I'm just gonna do some of the crap. I'm gonna do some of so that get some good flat crab flavor in there. In there. I know you Hello, everybody. I've used Zilu, good quality, and they're fast. Yeah. Zilu is good. Yeah, Z E E L O O L. Goggles, number four, letter U.com. Goggles good for you. Too. Goggles for you. Pain glasses. Um, yeah. I always go blank after. And there's a lot of websites that I get glasses from. Yeah, let's put a few up there. I never had seafood in my mashed potatoes. Me either, boo. Me either. This is going to be a first for me too. Hey, Miss Frida Allen. What's up, Frida? What did you say I needed about the air fryer? I ain't saying nothing about the air fryer. I said ours is up on the shelf. <laughs> Have we ever bought lobster mac and cheese? Derek has. I made it before. I'm not a macaroni and cheese I made person. a whole seafood mac and cheese. Actually, I made it with, I think... Wallace was here. We was just going crazy cooking yeah. stuff. Made a nice little. Sandra said, "I don't use my air fryer. I like a little grease on my food." <laughs> Who do? Oh, yeah. Sandra. <laughs> First of all, said, you like a little grease on my food. She said, "My food be feeling a little too healthy, so uh -uh, I ain't doing it. My food be feeling a little bit too healthy." <laughs> well, thanks for coming over here, Diana. Diana, no. No. Oh, she just said. Put another did. song. Wait, what? Hmm? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to put another song in his head besides the Carpenters, please. Oh, there he Look, bothering you me. You only tell people. You is bothering the folks, honey. You can't bother the people, babe. Sometimes I just get random songs in my head. I don't know why. Uh, Renee, thank you for 300 stars. That's the way my head works. What are they saying? Y'all, you all don't get those big crab legs with all the big meat like y'all used to. What used to? This ain't right here. I mean, we've done it before, but hey, look, we get what's on. This was on sale. That's the real reason why we got it, right, babe? Mm-hmm. I don't even remember how was, much it was, but it was cheap. Um, Keep a look out. Latisse will put up some more sites up there for the um glasses. Because there's quite a few. Uh oh, what's spitting over there, Derek? You take the lid off. I look forward to watching you all since you've been on. Thank you, Sandra. You want me to do it all? I'll go take it. Christine, be careful. Don't you driving but listening, girl. I know. You try to do it. Don't do too much. How was the noise last night? He was up to 3 in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all. He ain't getting a lot of King crab bags like $15 a pound. I believe it. Where did you get the crab bags from? We bought them from Food Line this summer. Yep, and it was, was like $9 freedom. a bag. Yeah, it was super cheap. We were like, ooh. We bought like eight or nine bags, right? For real. And been eating them ever since. They said, watch the soap pop, pop. I got it. No, Nita was on me, y'all. <laughs> Nita was on me. Yes, he's like four years old. Ooh. Little big joker. Oh, oh, Little boy too. Mm -hmm. Omg! Wow! Wow! Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Deborah. Don't know what it did, but okay. About the. 
No, 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 not fifteen dollars. Fifteen thousand. What? What was fifteen thousand? Fifteen thousand dollars for king crab legs. No. No, honey, where? There's that thing a little bit. You got a whole lot of them. Yes, better than we're like nine, ten, eleven dollars a bag. Mama Green is still in New Jersey. We'll be picking her up this weekend. Yeah. I'm just going to rain this whole weekend. Man. It is? You yes. Checked I checked. I checked. We're going on a rainy fishing trip, huh? I just called your brother to ask him what's still on. He says he'll call me back and let me know. Oh, you did? Thanks. Mm-hmm. Once I looked at the weather report to see if it was here and in New Jersey. And it is. Mm, we still going. Because it ain't gonna make a difference. Next weekend it's gonna rain too. Send that rain to Texas. Here you go. What's she probably name? meant fifteen hundred. Please, and then a hundred, forget it. I ain't doing it. All crabs. And I've seen like the TikToks and stuff where they have the huge ones and they deep fry them and stuff. We've done that before. We have? Yeah. I look at doing not being the baby anymore. Missing either. My daughter, I just talked to her today. She said Gabe keeps trying to sit on the baby. Sounds about right. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Right. Cause I'm about to hatch this kid. I'm like, that's this baby. <laughs> <laughs> and them kids. <laughs> He like, he ain't my kid. He ain't my child. He said he will not be quiet. Every time the baby falls asleep, he automatically comes in there and starts making noise. Well, Jordan got to get used to it. Dave is not a quiet baby. He said, he ain't going to be sleeping in my house. He said, you want to get up here and get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't up here in this bed with my mama. Yeah, about $40 a pound by me. Child, I ain't buying no more crabs this year. I am done. Does she have? A, she had a little boy. His name is Jordan Keith. Jordan Keith, what a cool middle name. He has his pop pop's middle name. That's the second grandchild to have it. I remember putting my little sister in a drawer. I got a whooping, but I still remember Nicole used to terrorize Courtney. Still do. <laughs> she still does to this day. Them two, uh, she used to do all kinds of stuff to my poor little baby. But then when her other baby sister came along, she loved her to death. She tolerated Jennifer, but she loved Whitney. I thought she was older. And she used to beat up Courtney. Poor little feeble Courtney. She was the littlest one. Mm -hmm. She tell those love why everybody thinks she's the youngest. <laughs> you know, that's your little court, sister, she, uh, and they're like, "No, that that girl older than me. That girl thirty some years old." That's a lot of crab meat. Ooh, look at this, y'all. Not for the work I'm doing today. <laughs> <laughs> All of my children are beautiful. Thank you so much. I will let them know when I see them. I forgot to tell Miss don't come into town. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'll let her know because I'm not driving all the way to, I mean, to his house. She can come see me. Is she posting any pictures yet? I need to, I believe so. You got a whole lot of driving stories, bro. <laughs> She's like, I ain't driving all the hey, way. Hey, Jenna. I ain't driving in the snow and right. rain. All oh, right. No, you ain't. You were absolutely correct. I sure ain't. I am. Mm hmm. Especially, Daryl. Okay. Oh, that's it. Especially Daryl. Wow. If you all say so. I said that's um they're about four uh me too. That's why I licked the screen when I watched the greens. <laughs> ah, I don't these older brothers and sisters was just so mean. None of my brothers are really mean to me. I mean I only grew up with one of them. And I pretty much took care of him. He acted like the baby brother. And you only got like uh you were only sister, so Out of four, out of three boys. Mm-hmm. And the only girl. And the youngest. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming back for dinner. I'll leave you the rest of them. 
I'm a healer. Okay. I'll put him on. Janice says she loves a cutting board. Did you get one, Janice? I think you won yeah, one. She, she knows she bought she one did. at the pop up, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you bought one at the pop up. I think. Oh, no, 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 no. She got one and came and picked it up. Well, actually, we, we mailed it to her. Okay, your whole story is changing. I don't even remember. I don't even know who you talking to. <laughs> <laughs> I was not spoiled. I will have you know. She was spoiled. They had cable. I, I would no uh, with the three swarm. brothers. I did all the cooking, the cleaning, the washing. I was freaking Cinderella. My my brother did nothing when he was supposed to take the garbage out. He barely did that. Remember telling about the. Um, Did you get that crab already? The crab already cooked. No. Well, well, crab, crab comes already, comes cooked. already yeah. cooked. Yeah. All I did was take it and put it in the boiler for a few minutes. Um, tell them the story about the um, the um, the vacuum cleaner bay. No. Yes. <laughs> this is a cutting board, easy to clean. Hey, Jim. Yeah, that's wood. You just wipe it off. I use the anytime I have something that has um. That, that has natural fibers like this. I usually clean, wash it off, uh, have a disinfectant spray I put on there, and then I just give it a rub down with some oil. But yeah. Yeah, tell me that. No. Okay, know. anyway, she spoiled, she spoiled her brothers, not them spoiling her exactly. Hey, family. Um, Jenny was just asking about the boys. They was asking if Gabe like Jordan. I was like... Gabe, like, F this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, little toss the story. It ain't much to tell. That's a lot to tell. Go on, tell it's me. really not. I literally grew up with my youngest brother, who was older than me. His name is Troy. And when we were younger, my mother worked two jobs. So, which is one of the reasons why I learned how to cook, because I felt bad for my mom. And her, we didn't have that many rules. But one rule in particular was do not eat in your room. She was very adamant about that. Do not eat food in your room. And my brother decided to make himself a sandwich. And you got to know that when my brother made a sandwich, he, make a whole loaf of he bread. would make half a loaf of bread of sandwiches. So there had to be at least three of whatever meat or peanut butter and jelly, whatever it was, it had to be at least three sandwiches. And he got this huge, big old cup of Kool-Aid that he made himself. So, you know, half the bag of sugar was gone. <laughs> and he proceeded to come into our room because we shared a room when we were younger. We only lived in a two-bedroom apartment. And we had got a new TV in the living room, which was colored. So, the black and white one went in our room. Don't say colored. Say African-American. It was a color TV. So, he came in our room African -American to TV. watch cartoons. And he tripped and spilled that Kool-Aid in the middle of the floor. Red Kool-Aid. His heart almost stopped. As he was trying to clean that Kool-Aid up, he decided to go get the vacuum cleaner and vacuum up the Kool-Aid. That vacuum cleaner blew up and burnt a hole in the middle of the floor. He tried to use crayon and... Whatever he could find and cover up that hole. He was trying to draw. I don't know what he was trying to draw. When you was telling me that, I was cracking up because I was like, <laughs> how do you? He, he be watching too many cartoons or something. So he was trying to like color in the hole. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're trying to say? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Then what, Nina? When my mama came home. No, with... no. You forgot the best part of this, this story. What was the best part? Y'all had a box. And oh so yeah, a got, box was delivered. Box was delivered. So this fool, <laughs> <laughs> like it's a burn on the rug, right? This fool drew the same burns pattern on the bottom and of the box, colored it in, colored and it and in, set black. it on the, on right on the thing. And then when the mom came, she said, "Mom, you got a box," and she picked it up. She said, "What is this?" She said, "That must have been on the bottom of the box." <laughs> well, of course, the mom wasn't that stupid. And she wore him out. She stood there. She said, what happened to this floor? And he looking at me like I was going to take the blame for it and it wasn't going to happen. I said, tell her, Troy. 
And he said, ma, ma, uh, ma, uh, uh, uh. I said, you better tell her everything. Because when it's time to clean up and she try to use that vacuum cleaner, she going to know something is wrong. So he had to tell her he spilled the Kool-Aid and he used the vacuum cleaner. So he did not only get beat for blowing up the vacuum cleaner, eating in our room, lying about it, trying to cover it up. He got beat so bad. I don't think my brother sat down for a week. Y'all forgot to ask you. Did, did y'all get a new rug or what happened? No. She ain't got no new rug. She stayed. bought a rug and put over that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. it was I like to call that ghetto ingenuity. Whew. Please. Wow. My brother stayed in I trouble. You told me that like years ago. He stayed in trouble. I'm going to tell you that. Because, you know, there's no, there's no Troy. I seen it. I was like, no, you were doing his voice and stuff. That's why. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. This guy looks like Troy. Because it was so funny. Because he was crying. And you know how you do the shake your hands when you're scared. And you know you're going to get it. <laughs> oh, that's the worst beat my brother ever got. I wish I was there just to laugh. <laughs> And then my brother like high yellow, so he was so red. He was so red. And then his his biggest punishment that I think almost killed him is my mother refused to buy any loaf bread for a week. Oh, I bet he cried. That was worse than a beating. My brother ate bread every day. Literally. The first time I came over, I think, is this dude eating a whole loaf of bread uh, with dinner? A whole loaf of bread. They said, will the cutting board get darker after use? Uh, maybe after use, you know, with, with natural stains and oils. And we like use that. that a lot. We haven't had it that the same much. color. We haven't had it that. We haven't had, um, had, what was I trying to say? Had it, it forever. Long. But it's, you know, that's what it is. Yeah, My mother never bought red Kool-Aid again after that. As, as a matter of fact, we didn't have Kool-Aid anymore after that. She would only buy, like, iced tea. She said, no more Kool-Aid for none of y'all. No, he, he did. He still was eating the room. Believe it or not, that dummy was still coming in the room with food. I was like, you ain't had enough. He, he came in the room one time with a bowl of cereal and stuck it on his bed. And you told me that he used to... He used to... Um, steal food. Right. He used to steal cans of food, open them up when he was really hungry, throw the empty can underneath his bed. My brother was, was like an eating machine. He never got full. And it was a lot of cans. Remember you told me it was so many cans. It was so many the cans underneath the bed. It was ridiculous. Oh, my God. And that's so true. On a few days that my mother would have out during the year, she would like do spring cleaning, and she would clean up everything while we're in school and move furniture and stuff around because you couldn't really buy a lot when you broke but you would move stuff around and make you feel like you did something. Like you got a new house. Like you got a new house. Ooh, like by the Ooh, curtains the bed is the not bed on the wall. Spread. So she would clean up our room and buy some bed spread or curtains and move the bed from one side to the other. And she moved my brother's bed. When we came home from school, she had all these cans piled up on the coffee table. My brother walked through that door and turned around and went right back home. Because <laughs> he knew he was going to get it. Poor Troy. I think you have been a bigger, a better sister than just like um, cover for him. What? <laughs> Couldn't you have been a better sister? Would you have cover for your brothers and sisters? No, brother. Yeah, we're they're, done. They're going down. They're going down. <laughs> they're, going down. <laughs> they're going down for that one. Y'all be a catch up on everything. I mean, literally, I remember the first time I went over there and, and had dinner with y'all. He was literally, no joke, a whole loaf of bread he ate with the dinner. Mm -hmm. He said, you want any bread there? And I said, dude, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was wrong, bro. I, first of all, I didn't know what they were putting in that bread, and I wasn't trying to get hooked on bread for life like that. <laughs> I was like, bro, I don't know what, what's going on with this bread, but this is a special bread. Dude was like folding it. And Sunbeam bread. He'll walk around. This another one, bread. another one. He was like, look, he was like DJ Khaled. He was like, and another one. <laughs> and another one. We the best bread. <laughs> I was like, they said wow. cream cheese and mashed potatoes is good. It certainly is. 
I do that often. Uh, I am going to add some roasted garlic in here too. Some roasted garlic. Can't imagine getting beat for being hungry, cause now you hurting and still hungry. <laughs> My brother was never full. I don't know what was wrong with him. He really could eat. And he was thin and tall. He was like 6'5 or something, 6'3, 6'5. 6'3. He was taller than me. I know I wasn't 6'3 when I was in high school. I was probably like 5'11. But he always seemed like super, super, super tall. tall. I don't think he's like that anymore. I mean, he's been married for years. He actually... And with a wife he married, she ain't going to have that. And Nita's uh, brother is actually a minister. He grew up to be a minister. We got, I just realized we got a couple few ministers in the family. <laughs> Miss Pretty Face Johnson said, well, at least your brother never told you to hide in the dryer while playing hide and go seek and turn the dryer on. <laughs> wow. Oh, own my people, right? gosh. Did you get burned? It be your own people, y'all. We ain't had no washing dryer growing up. We had the clothesline and a sink. I mean, we had we had washing dryer, but we was just uh, no, you know what? Yeah, we had washing dryer. We had washing dryer. Oh, y'all was rich. I feel like we were rich now. Y'all was rich. I feel like we were rich now, baby. You better go ahead with your. How we have stuff. more? How we have more rich stuff than y'all? Y'all was straight rich. <laughs> you was spoiled, and y'all was rich. How? How, nigga? We used to hide in the dryer in the family, hide and go see. Why would you hide in the dryer, though? You sent the glasses, Link? Okay, thank you. I didn't need it. Somebody else needed it. I got enough glasses for right now. I hope they're good. Greg picked out one he wants me to have. I just said, let me get one that you normally wouldn't get. It's really nothing crazy like my glasses. It's just a little larger, chunkier pair. That's all. It was the best place to hide, really, in a dryer. My older brother had me play circus. I ended up sliding down the wall, hurt and crying. Circus? What do you do? Throw you? How do you play circus? I don't. I don't know. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Oh, you talking about like y'all the trapeze people and he just he swung you somewhere or something? Oh, you sent the message to them. Okay, thank you. You sent a message to who? About the glasses. Okay. I was the only child. Then my parents adopted a child when they were in their 70s, Edith. What? Wow, why? Why would you even do that? Because you see us being 70 and, and saying, you know what we need in this house? Another, Another baby. Kid. I can't see it. You sit on their feet and they see you flying? No. What? No. What? I never did that. No. <laughs> That's a new one on me. No, I was, I was a pretty good kid. I was a very helpful kid. I was always helping my mom. Those potatoes look really creamy. That's a time. lot of potatoes, y'all. Can you make like... No, I guess you can't. What? Like potato pancakes out of that. Yeah. That doesn't have to be shredded. Or flour. Yeah, you can make potato pancakes out of it. Not like uh, latkes. Like That's what I'm thinking. Pancake style. Yeah, potato, okay. potato pancakes, literally. It's That's in a dirt. You keep saying you want another teenager, so you two can watch uh, football together. No. Uh, we, I never said so we can watch football together. Uh, that right there is a lie. Josh, you said that was a lie. Was that me? Yeah. Nope. One of a little. And then I make potato pancakes with my leftover potatoes. I was wondering if you could. I make potato pancakes out of leftover mashed potatoes. Just add onions. Ooh, I'm going to try that. I can't try once you put the crab meat in there, though. It's going to be a whole different kind of a thing. Any 
you got just tonight. Didn't you see no potatoes? You just see them making mashed potatoes. Yeah, I took very good care of my mom. Even after she had a heart attack, I still took care of her. If you coat the mashed potatoes and fry them like patties, yum. How do you play circus? I know, we just said the same thing. How do you play circus? I literally, like, how do you, how do you play? Just walk around like a clown? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> trying to figure it out. Oh, it is a starch. You are correct. But that's all we're going to have with the crab. I mean, with the um scallops. For a quick second, I forgot what we was having. I want them a little, little, little uh, substantial. You did that, and your cousin up. broke his arm. Oh, my gosh. That's the one thing I was like, why y'all play so rough that somebody got to be sent to the hospital? I never understood that. Look into it. Someone lays on their back and the other person sits on their okay. You gonna look into that bed? No, 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 not that, but the pancake. Oh, oh, the, no, let it take the pancake. <laughs> look into that. You know what? What you doing later on tonight? Thank you, Josh. He said he likes to fry his onions and add them to his potatoes and make potato pancakes. Yeah, that's good. It just popped in my head. I was just curious. Okay, Jen, she said, that's a star, it's not a veggie mom. <laughs> it's the only thing we have with this. This is it. My brother used to play fish. They put they put in the blanket and scoop you up. That don't even sound like that's funny. <laughs> that sounds like very dangerous. Like if my grandkids were here, I'd be like, don't play fish. I know y'all ain't in there playing fish, is you? <laughs> Didn't I tell you stop playing fish? I know we plan on cooking for my daughter when we go to Jersey. That's what we plan on? I plan on cooking for. I can't wait to cook for my baby so her and Courtney can get a little break. We make it. I went for your brother call back to find out about Sunday. I don't know whatever she got in there. She better go grocery shopping. Boys were reckless playing. Yeah, boys were always reckless. Yeah, he put roasted garlic in the potatoes. A little bit of our... Uh... Jen said, yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. I will make whatever you want, Jen. Just go grocery shopping. Whatever you decide you want to eat. Did they fix your sink yet? Yeah, they did. They fixed my sink and broke my dishwasher. Everything smells delicious on your iPhone? Guess who said that? Luana. <laughs> your best friend, Luana. Let's go take a look at these scallops, y'all. That's not all of them. He got some more over there under the tissue, drying out. Baby, why are you racing around? What's the matter? What you looking for? That's the crabs he got left. And this is the crab meat, mashed, roasted, mashed, roasted garlic mashed potatoes he made. He just put a little sea salt on top of the scallop. These are good. They're a good size too. I mean, I've seen bigger, but I like this size. I like the teeny teeny ones. Deborah said, boy, oh boy, my iPhone has aromas running through my house from yours. Uh, allegedly. I 
no, because I've been washing dishes by hand. You ever try scallop tail, Ronald? Give it a try. You can find some very inexpensive. I love scallops. I just had them a few days ago. Yummy. Uh huh. We haven't had any in a while. No, it's the same, Derek. You sang it with Derek Kelly? You need to hush. I'm harmonizing with Derek. Everybody's harmonizing with you, Derek. Really? Scallops and lamb chops. Uh, wait, what? It went away. Scallops and lamb chop was your birthday request for Mr. Derek to make for you. Who is this, Luana? I mean, uh, Latisse? It's not Latisse. Not healthy. I love frying them in a little bacon grease. That's what we're doing. Yep. I'm going to have to try them. Derek has certainly shown me how to cook them. Yes, he has. Dry. Dry as possible. Room temperature or close to room temperature. Do not touch them. It's just so simple. Literally, do not touch them. Give it a few seconds. Seconds on the other side. It's done. Like done right now. Norma like said I had scallops. Um, Saturday I made them with a, a brown butter wine sauce. Very nice. I think I'm going to do a little reduction on this one. I hate doing them ahead of time like this because what happens is their scallops are made to eat right away. They'll release some liquids. But we're going to go ahead. They don't burn quick. You got to turn your, your heat down. Yeah. And you also... You're cooking them too long, JK. Yeah, and you can eat them right away because guess what? Sea scallops are good. They're edible um, without even what am I trying to say? Raw. My brain wasn't. By 90 seconds per side. Yeah, about 90 seconds per side. It's a, Derek, you keep getting songs stuck in the head every day. Oh, yeah, that's what you're going to do. What I'm going to do is get a song in your head. Boy, hush now. Hey, everybody. Derek's acting up as usual. As per Derek. You finished with this heavy cream, honey? No. Oh, you need more cream? I'm doing a little tan reduction for this. Ooh. We're going to have a saucy sauce? I'm excited now. Scallops will continue to cook out of the pan. Do not cook all the way through. Right. Yeah, Linda just, says so in her cool. head now. You have and then they're going to start releasing liquid right here. I usually don't um, season them beforehand so they're not super rubbery. That helps actually a little bit. And then I'll usually season in the pan like I did. And then again a little bit after, right before serving. A nice finishing salt if you have it. What do you mean sometime he forgets the words? Don't know the words or nothing. I don't know the words or nothing. Y'all no, no, trying to make me sound good. You know I always. How was my sleep last night? Terrible. My neighbors were up to three o'clock in the morning. Let me see if I can quickly do this. Three Before in the morning. That's why I'm tired right now. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be nice because I know they're moving in, but they gotta have some kind of respect. Some kind of respect. You up one and three in the morning doing stuff? Come on. And I'm tired tonight. I got to be up early tomorrow. I will be knocking on that door tonight. So we have a couple of uh, meetings that we have to do tomorrow. The rest of my week is very busy. You want that whole plate? It's delicious, too. I'm surprised you ain't grabbing I need to try one. one. I was good. wondering. Yeah, he'll make up his own words to a song. Oh my God, babe. Take that. Come on. Butter. Very good. Who's 
so and don't, don't be afraid of scallops. There's no such thing as undercooked scallops. You can have not have them seared enough, but they are edible raw. You can literally eat them straight out the shell. So they're like clam they like clams, oysters and things like that. So I think just people getting past that part, like, oh my god, when do I take them out? Did I I wanna make sure they're done? It's not fish, it's not you can literally as long as you got that sear, that, that sear really quickly on it, a good restaurant quality sear, and flip them over for about uh, maybe 30 seconds, 20, 30 seconds, take them off. Hi, right, Miss Sabrina, yeah. you have a great night at work. Praying for your safety. What do they taste like? Delicious. Yep. Buttery, good see. They're very good. And literally, the, uh, the other key is not to, like, peek at them, to let them do their thing, and then turn, then turn them over. When you start seeing a little brown crust near the bottom, and you'll get, like, the perfect restaurant quality sear every time. Sure, see, the texture raw is nasty, though. No, it's not. They're delicious. You gotta get some sea scallops. Don't buy them little bay scallops and try that. Little sea scallops. Give them like about 30 seconds on that side, done. Literally. Ooh. And they will they will release a little liquid because they are made. They're not a thing that you put in the refrigerator and eat later. No. You, no. They're made to eat right now. I would love to meet you too one day, Miss Sandra. I need to let them know. I mean, I'm, I'm really trying to be patient because they technically just moved in on the 15th, but it's a limit. And talking to the managers here don't mean a doggone thing because no. they did absolutely nothing with the last two neighbors I had living above me. You would love to have some fried oyster fritters. Dirk's never made that. We don't really eat oysters. I mean, he eats oysters. I can't. I, mm -mm, no. I can't do oysters. And look how many we got, y'all. We got them for a pretty good price. They were on sale, right, babe? Mm -hmm. I think we got those for... They're like $23? Yeah, something like that. They use like 30 some bucks for us, like a super colossal, whatever you like to call them, or jumbo. They have 30 some dollars a pound. La, 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 There's a recall on oysters right now. See? See what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? Well, that's my ceiling has so many poke marks from me banging on my ceiling with the broom. I don't know what my neighbors got locked. Did it do anything now? They're doing that. And when you try to move out of that apartment, you gotta fix that ceiling. I'm telling Miss Nia, I would be up them stairs, bathrobe, and rolling pin in hand. <laughs> I did say something very politely the first day. We have a place that does... Wait, what? I can't find... We have a place that does great oysters here. I'm going to have to let you try. When you come here, Nita... Oh, oh, hey, April! Girl, I don't know. You can't convince me to like oysters. Did not I'm sorry. Did not we had Indian fried bread and oh, roast well. roast last we're night. To reduce that Tonight now. we had cream of tortilla. Y'all cooking over there, Miss Linda? Did not mean to put that much cream in there. Bro. Can you take some out? No. I had red fish for the right. first time yesterday. Red fish. Okay, Erica. No, we don't live in a house. We live in an apartment on the second floor, sandwiched in between two other apartments. Oysters do not taste good to me. I I, do, I can't get past the texture. I can't. They said there's no recall on oysters there in Louisiana. Yeah, it's, it, you can't. It, it's got to be what region. Oysters don't come from just one spot. Mm -hmm. You know, it probably has to do with the with the water or something in that area. I cooked 15 bean soup yesterday. It was delicious. Somebody sent us a packet of, we made it once. Mm -hmm. Delicious too. Absolutely right. It was delicious. I agree. <laughs> I have to say to my auntie voice. <laughs> I plan on it. If it's midnight tonight and they're back in the food, I will be going up there. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to let them wait till midnight. You going to give them a bedtime then? 
I'm getting my bedtime tonight. And that little boy has been running and ripping all day long. He shook her his behind the bed sometime tonight. They just left. I just heard him go out the door. So they'll be back. And whatever lady be up there, she be walking around these clunky heels. So they they little little short folks. Oh, that's good. I was going to say that because I'm in healthcare too, and that's our dominant schedule 7 to 7, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's Darlene's schedule. And she's working like every weekend because she's off this weekend when we go to Jersey. I probably won't even see her. You, why? Because she's going to be in Jersey? Is that what you're saying? They ain't going to see Darlene when we go to Jersey. Oh. She's going to be all over the place. True. You want to fix a pot of baby mama beans for tomorrow? You go right ahead. I will not be sharing them with you. I do not like llama beans at all. I'm not a, we weren't a bean family. Most people that like beans grew up with that crap. Well, he did call y'all stuff crap. I did not. I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna fight it for y'all. Don't worry. Mm -mm. Okay, Derek's phone. You can't do oysters either. It's, it's just so slimy. Oh. Yeah. And if people just be slurping around the shell, I... Uh, no. <laughs> the thought of that just made me want to gag. The FDA said in restaurants in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, five states, you can look it up. Oh, with the recall on oysters? Uh, recall. I could, I ain't had none. Mm -mm. Don't give you no beans. I'm telling you. Y'all still cannot convince me with these oysters. I don't care if they fried or fricasseed or bro. I just, I don't like oysters. I'm, I'm, I'm about with oysters as Derek is with liver. You can't go to people's homes or saying anything to people. They are crazy nowadays. I'm saying, oh, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be careful. You're not going to yeah, die. This is a gun-toting gun state. Well, I'm going to try to approach them without going to the office. Because that was the first thing I said. Well, did you, did you ask them to calm down? That's what you said about the other neighbors we had. So I forgot. I will go to them first. The three is good for now. Three is good for me. I love beans, any kind except black beans. Deborah, you go ahead, girl. That's racist. He put the sauce he made on the plate, then the seafood, mashed potatoes, and now the scallops. Now he's looking for more stuff. I would rather you don't say what washes your mind you of either. Behave. <laughs> I love me some fried oysters and clam strips with hush puppies and coconut. So you red lobster in it is what you're trying to say. Pretty much. Well, that sounds like a whole red lobster meal. Call management. They put a note on the door. Then call security. Then the cops. Child. What do you know about that? Absolutely nothing. I did proper property management and our responsibility. And our responsibility not the tennis to maintain peace. Child, these people here they they give a flying that. fig how much you I complain. Keep, if you're going to be able to pay all that money, they don't care. Seriously. Like by law. Lucy, thank you for 100 stars. The peace walking is natural. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. They can be like, we walk at night. We come in late. We have to walk around. We're not jumping. We're not having a party. Nobody screaming. We're walking. Their complaint is that we're walking. That's how we get around the house. And we, yes, we are up late. They can't, you can't tell somebody they got to go to bed. I'm telling you right now, it ain't going to happen. I would love for it to happen, but it ain't. No, they're all going to get a car yet. He's still looking. See how quiet it is with them not being upstairs? You can tell they left. Bro. Oh, that's pretty, babe. Oh, y'all 
on, he's fancying it up. He is truly fancying it up. They probably moved from Florida because they don't have any respect. <laughs> wow. I should find out where they came from. They probably sleep all day and stay up all night. That's not right. Yeah. Y'all from Florida or something? They shouldn't. They shouldn't be that loud. You would think that they would be like, "Oh, it's it's after midnight. Maybe people are trying to sleep." And they're even loud when they go up and down the stairs. You go back. Let me know how you feel. Y'all look at this plate. Look at this pretty plate. Can y'all see that? Let me know how you feel. Ugh. I'm going right into it. I ain't even. Can I get a fork back? I, okay. I'm going to use my hands. I'm sorry. I I, you gonna eat with your hands? I forgot about sports. I forgot. You being greedy now. I was just gonna go in there. I'm gonna try these potatoes. That's all stuff. Ooh, boy. It's crab meat potatoes. Get a little bit of that, that pan reduction. Hmm. Okay. So fat is good. We ain't got nothing to take a picture with y'all. Hold oh, on. We're using both our devices, so. Mm mm. And the scallops are cooked perfect. They are cooked perfect. So good. Mm. Mm. This is illegal. This is like hash browns. Mm. It is a cute date night meal. That's so good. Let me see, one second while I take my screensaver off so I can taste it. Mm -mm. Y'all, this is very good. Go, Derek. Mmm. Just enough crab in there. Some crunchy bacon. Creamy. Uh, good body on that mashed potatoes and the scallop. Is so I can't complain if they have to be courteous of others enough mm. complaints and action will happen if the property manager does their job correctly. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I complained when the last two neighbors were here and they ended up moving. My neighbors are the worst with dogs when at 12 a.m. I had my first neighbors were dogs. Two huge dogs. You had dogs in here? The neighbors upstairs. They were the dogs. Remember, they were big dogs. Your, your, your last name I meant. Dogs. <laughs> no. You meant, you meant had dogs. Yes, it's these cheap floors. Mm -hmm. And it's so cheap that you can still hear them on the rooms that are carpeted. Mm -hmm. They don't muffle nothing. That's good. very good. Yeah, that sauce good. is, is mm -hmm. good. That says sauce in there. It's like a pan reduction, just flavor, fat, it's creamy. A lot of flavor. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is a high end meal right here. Somebody paid good money for this. <laughs> yes, thank y'all for y'all prayers. We appreciate it. The Lord's going to make a way somehow. Because mm. when mom come home, she is not going to be happy. She knows. She can watch. She can probably watch right now. Mm. How soft awesome. is awesome. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very mm. good. Oh my God. Let me see my little friend talking about. Hold on. Before I do that. What? What? What are we drinking? What you want to drink, man? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I'll find something. Come sit down. I'm going to have this a little bit more potatoes because them, them things, right? The potatoes are very good. Yeah. Oh, I never would have thought to put crab meat in mashed potatoes. Oh, mm, my God. And a tiny little more of that pan with us. Where did they do that at? Where did they do that? Right here. Right here. Oh, my God. Oh, my Let me cook my greens house. Baby, you just eat four scallops, got four more. Yeah, you was not playing. You sound a little bit like you're joking. <laughs> a teeny bit, just a little bit. You're not playing. Y'all, little friends, what y'all think, little friends? Well, it was good or what? Just off the top, off the dome, off the dizome. So Woo! Okay. Man, so look. Oh, what? Y'all, the way. Damn, that sear. Mm -mm -mm. Little circular pockets of goodness. Y'all see the crab meat in there? Mm. That's good. That is a whole thing. That's a whole thing. It's very good, baby. You did an excellent job. Oh. Mmm. Lots of places, especially in port states, we do a lot of seafood mass. It's popular. I've seen lobster mass before. 
I love a crab mass. So I was like, oh, crab mass. Ooh, 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 ooh. This a, I, a glass of wine would have been good with the meal, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be good tonight. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all see all the stri like the strings from the crab meat? Balanced. Pretty delicious. Perfect. They are just perfect. They're lump in your mouth. This is a very good scallop. If you really like scallop, pay a little more for the um the jump the larger one. I think the letter. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Amy Boy comes here a man like Derek to cook with me. Watch what you ask for, because I'm aggravating this hat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're going to have to decide, is it worth the great cooking for our aggravation? You got to weigh out your pros and cons. Yeah, she, put, she weighed out. She's stuck she right now. what you asked for. She's stuck. What, what season did I put in the mashed potatoes? Um, I cooked the potatoes with a little um, sea salt. And then um, I finished it up with um, pink Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, and then. And then mashed potatoes? Got it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to like overpower with anything else. Just wanted it because the crab is going to come through. The, the creaminess of the. You had to lay in bad breath. The heavy cream, not milk. So you got to think how decadent it is. Not milk, a heavy cream, and then the, um, the whole butter. And a little bacon. The bacon pieces are nice little crispy, fun, mm -hmm. good surprises. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I feel like I paid, I paid like $70 for this thing. <laughs> now, this would have been a good night for Darla to come over. Mm -mm. You know, he's gonna be sorry he missed this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. What? What? She just reminds me, um, I have roasted garlic in there too. Mm. Roasted garlic. Mm. That sauce, that reduction. Ah. A pan, pan drew. Finished off with that creamy butter. So I took all the fond out. I, you know, I, I got all the, the pan fond out of there, just stuck on the bottom. From the scallops. A little bit of that, um, that butter that it cooked in. So I had a little brown butter almost. A little bit of that bacon grease in there. Cause there's still a little residue of that bacon grease in there. I added a little splash in there. Um, the juice from the scallops. And then we added a splash. It was actually beef broth. Because I mm. thought I had chicken in there. I just put a little splash of that. Reduced that. Added a little more heavy cream than I wanted to. But it still reduced nice. And then finished it with um, probably about three tablespoons of butter. Oh my God. And the crab shell. Man, look, man, look, 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 oh my God, let's see all that crap in there, oh my God. Hmm. Uh oh, I didn't breathe now, it might be almost oh, over. Oh, you're done, you're well, done. The plates, it's done. The plates say the same thing, there's almost nothing in here. It's done. Oh, it's the seconds. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, when am I coming out with another cookbook? You gotta find the time. I'm working on one now. I'm working on two now. So probably next next uh, year. Oh. Probably next year. Um, I was trying to push to have it for the holidays. It's not gonna happen. My schedule kind of changed, so I don't have the time to finish the cookbook right now. Mm -mm. Asthma asparagus, absolutely good. Mm -hmm. Delicious meal, y'all. Super simple. I mean, they're just the um, mashed potatoes and the, huh? the crab. Y'all are good. You got bacon? Mm mm mm. What pages? The next cookbook will have page numbers on it. Y'all. Where? So good. So good. Y'all saying yes? So good. Candace said, send her a plate. 
Are the skillets here? Our skillets, we sold out of our skillets. Did you um, order skillets? Because skillets are out of stock. Are you talking about the wok? The wok hasn't got here yet. Um, the pots are still on the way here also. We're waiting on pots and woks. Skillets are out of stock. We we'll reorder skillets. Woks are out of stock before they even got here. We'll probably reorder those before they get here again. Um, we're going to be reordering them probably at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. We'll or reorder um, woks at least. Uh, because of the volume of the skillets I have to order, I mean, the, um, yeah, skillets I have to order, we'll see. We'll see if we can do it at the end of the month. We'll see. The three-piece set. What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about the skillets. That's a six-piece set because you got to count. You always got to count the, the glass tops. That's six pieces. But they're out of stock. No, they are out of stock. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. 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 What you mean, do scallops take like shrimp? They taste better than shrimp. Mm -hmm. Shrimp is more textury. Scallops are softer. Um, but the flavor, it, it's hard. It, it, it tastes like scallops. It's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. So we love you guys, man. We actually knocked that out, baby. That was, you liked it? You didn't even finish hers. Yeah, very good. So it must have been good, y'all. And yeah, my plate is empty. I'm part of clean plate, people. Think later, to uh -huh. uh, need to finish hers too. She said, bro, you gotta tell me once. Yeah, very good. I and, we still, seconds, though. and we still got three three scallops. I should go see my neighbor want to play. Downstairs, Will? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we ain't seen them people upstairs. If he home, I should see if he got one. I ain't cool. seen him in a few days. Maybe one else. I received my gift from today from winning grocery games. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Just like crab legs, scallops are sweet meat when it comes to seafood in my event. Absolutely. Yeah, it's sweet. They were sweet. Yeah. It was like crab and, and, sh and shrimp and lobster had a baby together, scallops. It's a muscle. So, you know, it comes in a bivalve. It's a bivalve. So, um, anyhow, we love y'all. We'll see y'all. Uh, they said it made it home, but I was in this car screaming, laughing about your brother with the Kool Aid vacuum phone. <laughs> You know that, Michelle? I said, no one hardly comes over when Mama Green is gone. No. They come over to see Mom. Y'all know who the real superstar they of the family is. They come over Mom. Hmm. I want to try to cook scallops, but Gordon Ramsay had me so shook. That's the dish that sent so many chefs home. I'm telling you, easy tips. Again, I'm going to say it again. If you know you're going to make them, take them out about an hour and a half at least before. You want to get them as close to um, room temperature as possible. Okay, that's the first thing. So they cook evenly. Um, you want to make sure they are as dry as possible. This is what I do. People season them beforehand, but I feel like you season them beforehand, it kind of releases some of the liquid, and I want that liquid in there. Put them either in a dry pan or a pan like I did with a very little bit of fat. Put them down. The foot side down, which is the larger side of the, let me make sure he don't get over here. The larger side of the scallop. So they're, they're you know, they're both flat, but there's like a smaller circle, a larger circle. Foot side down, don't touch them. Don't peek on at them. Don't say, is that it? Kind of you know, all these people came out of the scallop. Yeah. Let them do their thing, okay? Let them do their thing. It's and then, seconds. yeah, probably about them. Yeah, it depends on the size. So you go by the size. So the best is, well, I watch them. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching down near the bottom where they're, they're, they're touching. And you'll see like a little brown ring start coming around. When that's there, I wait like a few more seconds. Just flip them and then you'll be perfect. Mm -hmm. Keep your um, your uh, temperature probably like at a medium high. Don't And then also don't put them in a cold pan. You want the pan to be already hot. And then flip them over. Give them like 30 seconds. Serve immediately. I, then I sprinkle some salt on it, some finishing salt on there, a nice big flake salt, like a sea salt, like a sea salt, or a, like what I was using tonight, the kosher salt, a nice big flake salt, not table salt. And then, either way, you don't have to put anything else with it. Mm -mm. Yep. Um, so anyhow, anyhow, we love y'all, man. So simple. Don't don't be afraid. It's your kitchen. Who's gonna stop you? Exactly. Who wants to stop you?
Emperor said, perfect advice in my opinion. I'm telling you, those are, that's the key. That's what people, a lot of people mess up. One, they're looking at it too much. They're checking it. Uh, another one, that room temperature thing is a big, quick, easy tip to almost and dry make them, them perfect. Out. And drying them out. Anything that you want a, a serum on, you want them to be as dry as possible, whether it's steak, whether it's lamb, dry as possible because if it's got liquid, it's going to steam. You don't want to steam them, all right? Um, and a nice hot pan. Literally it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, love you guys. Scallops are delicious, especially when they're done. Have, go to a good restaurant that does good scallops and, and try some. You know, don't let your first scallops be your messed up scallops. <laughs> so, yes, I cook them You cook them too long. long. You literally don't. Make sure that pan hot, okay? The, the three steps, again. As close to room temperature as possible, dry as possible, hot pan. Add a little oil fat if you want to or don't. But one thing you won't want to do is peek at them. Let them do their thing for their, depending on the size again. It could be, I've had super jumbos like that before. And they took almost two minutes on one side to see it. So it depends on the side. And don't buy sea scallops. Don't buy, I mean, uh, bay scallops. They're not made for searing. They're made for soups and stews and stuff. So, and if you don't like um, bay scallops, sea scallops is a whole different animal. It's a whole different thing. So, anyhow. What's cooking, man? So you missed it. We did pan seared sea scallops. We did um, crab mashed potatoes. Crab made up, roasted garlic. Crab potatoes. roasted garlic mashed potatoes. The crab wasn't roasted. The garlic was. You see what I'm saying? But, um... <laughs> so, yeah. That's you it. You did roast the crab. You stuck it in the broth. I really did roast the crab, baby. Mm -hmm. I did. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Can you please get the size, size for the uh, eyeglasses? Oh, uh, somebody said scent. Good, good. Thank you, um, Latisse, for being on it. I'm going to try to get... Look through all my emails and try to find everyone I've ever bought glasses from because I buy from every... Because I don't just buy from myself... I, I buy from, I used to buy from my kids when they were younger. Now I don't have to. And then my wife, now I'm buying for her. So, we love y'all. I feel like I ate at a five-star restaurant. I really do. I'm, I feel like I shouldn't have ate that because that was too expensive. Now here comes the bill. That's You know how you know that feeling? <laughs> but first you're like, I don't even matter. Get what you want. Get what you want. And then after you ate, he's like, boy, I probably shouldn't have had that. This is going to be expensive. <laughs> then they're going to add tax on that. Automatic eighteen percent, but I but they cheat this out because I usually tip way more than eighteen when I go, and then we got drinks. <laughs> Damn. Uh, so thank you, Latisse, for uh, getting on that those glasses for people. Um, we love y'all. We will see you guys later. Um, the kid, oh y'all saw my? Did you see my pain? My pain's back there. That's framed too. I did that just right before. Why did you that texture on the bottom? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> it was. I just didn't paint over the, the painting part. <sighs> oh, Jay, that's detail. He's getting better. Ah, so we love y'all. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We'll see you again. Thank you so much from our heart to your plate. Bye bye. Have a great night. See you later. Boop. Boop. Sad? Boop. Why does it make you sad, babe? Because it's like you in hell. No, you're not in hell. <laughs>